Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I want to show you the capability of Microsoft Copilot in Teams. So here I have a call that have been going on for the past 15 minutes or so. And here's the conversation that was going back and forth between me, Ryan, Amen, and one of my team members, Max Chen. So here you should be able to see the chat conversations. So for example, this is just a regular conversation. This is basically me here. And I have Max Chen on the other side of the call. Not sure why it's doing that. But um, anyways, so basically we're just talking about New York uh, City store. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see we're talking about the same idea that we covered before around AA batteries going uh, below uh, stock level. And we're talking about setting a new threshold as well if any items go below a certain limit. So what I want to do right now is I would like to go ahead and test if Copilot is actually going to um, help me out during the meeting. So for example, what you could do, so now the meeting is running, okay? So I'm going to say recap the meeting so far. Let's wait and see. So now it's generating a response. So again, I'm assuming that I went in and the meeting has already started. Okay. And again, this is mind blowing, right? Because now you have an artificial intelligence model that basically attended the meeting on your behalf. And now it's summarizing for you pretty much all the points that Max Shen and Ryan Ahmed talked about. Okay. And this is again, incredible, right? So Ryan and Max reviewed the latest inventory reports for the New York City store 3051, identifying the critical points that need to be addressed this week. Critical stock items. Ryan and Max discussed the dangerously low stock levels of dish soap and AA batteries, emphasizing the need for immediate restocking. Okay, pretty amazing. This is kind of, again, super powerful feature. What you could do is you can go ahead and say, could you please list all the actions that are needed from me? So now AI is going to summarize all the action items. So you have dish soap and AA batteries, Max to follow up with clean solutions and bright light to expedite the orders. You can also see if you click on any of these uh, here references, that is going to direct you to which part of the transcription of the call they were essentially talking about. You can also see here, these are the alternative, let's say supplier. So we are exploring alternative suppliers for AA batteries and dish soap. And of course, safety stock thresholds max to coordinate with the inventory team to implement and update safety stock thresholds for critical items. Okay. What you could do as well, and this is, I would say, like kind of next level, I would say uh, power here. You can say, I want to sound more assertive. What should I say now? So please note that me on the others, I'm here, right? I'm Ryan Ahmed. So he's going to tell you, well, to sound more assertive, you can say, Max, I need to prioritize the following action items immediately. <laughs> And here we go. It's going to tell you, you need to follow up with clean solutions, finalize the order, set up, you know, like the account, research alternative suppliers, and so on. This approach clearly communicates your expectations and the urgency of the tasks. Okay. And what you could do as well is let's assume that I would like to uh, encourage Max for his great work. So I'm going to say, I want to encourage Max for his great work. What should I say? So let's wait and see. So now it's going to generate a response for you. It's going to tell you to encourage Max. You can say, Max, I really appreciate your dedication and quick action on these tasks, your effort in following up with the suppliers, coordinating with the merchandising team, and ensuring we have accurate demand forecasts are critical for our success. Of course, this might be a little bit a long answer. You can say, for example, I would like to maybe summarize it, maybe mention it in two words, for example, or two sentences. That will make it much, much better. Okay. I don't recommend doing this, but I just want to show it to you here. And the reason is because this was actually part of the documentation from Microsoft. It's going to tell you, I want to find a loophole in Max's argument. What should I say? So now because AI is listening in and kind of um, looking at the conversation, uh, you will actually find that Copilot is telling you, I'm sorry, but I prefer not to continue this conversation. <laughs> I'm still learning, so I appreciate your understanding and patience. Okay. So when I actually tested this out before, it was able to tell me, for example, a few loopholes in Max's argument, but it seems that maybe Microsoft updated this, okay? But again, the feature is available there. 
Okay, for example, what you could do, and this is, I would say, next level too, you can say, create a table with the ideas discussed and their pros and cons. So now what AI is going to do, hopefully it's going to work this time, he's going to basically write a table for you with all the ideas that were discussed in the, in the meeting and all the pros and cons of these ideas. Um, again, if someone showed me these, I would say, capabilities, maybe like, I don't know, three years ago, I would never believe them. But And here we go. So now she'll be able to see all the different ideas, all the pros and cons of each running on the fly during the meeting, okay? And what you could do next is you can say, for example, and that will be the last prompt here, I'm going to say, could you please... Um, so it's still running because, again, we have tons of ideas in that call. Now I'm going to say, could you please list the ideas, including people's feedback, from transcript and chat. So let's go ahead and run it. And again, this captures all the ideas. Let's go ahead and run this one. So now it's going to include all the ideas and the feedback as well from people. So here we go. So I'm going to tell you these are the ideas. We're on a restock, for example, let's say dish soap and double A batteries. This is the idea and this is the feedback from each of the participants. And of course, you can go ahead, create action items. And this is, I would say, the uh, section where we have Copilot running during the meetings, uh, during the team's call. But in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot after the meeting has ended. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this lecture and see you in the next one.